What is up you guys? It is Brianna and I thought we would just sit down and play with makeup today. I kind of want to do something like winter inspired because I've been seeing so many winter looks over on Instagram and I kind of want to try one with my own little twist. And the palette that I want to use today though is the brand new ColourPop Fade Into Hue. Like I've been seriously loving this one so much and how it's laid out is just really inspiring. And if you'd like to see my original review on it, I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you. And if I sound really raspy right now, it is because I had the worst hiccuping attack this morning for like an hour and a half. And I don't know about you guys, but when I get the hiccups, I get them for a very long time. Like I don't get them for like 10 minutes. I get them like for well over an hour, if not two hours. And after a while, they get like so painful, my voice hurts. And so if I sound like a chicken or if I sound really raspy, that is why. But the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm just gonna use this ABH eye primer. I was almost gonna use my P. Louise one, but I don't know, like the last couple of times I used it, I just regret not going with my ABH, so I'm just gonna use my favorite. And I'm just going to be applying it to my eyelid using this really fluffy brush and getting it all up in there. So normally I don't like to do the dark to light method. I find that it just does not really work for me, but I feel like it's gonna give us a little bit more precision, so we're actually going to be doing it today. But the first shade I wanna go in with is this darkest blue in the palette called Iconic. And I know this is gonna look really weird, but I'm gonna take it on this little tiny pencil brush from ColourPop. That's actually really pigmented. I haven't used this shade yet, but this is an E28. And I'm just going to be applying it in my crease in this inner half of my eye. And then once you have it applied, I'm just doing these little circular motions to kind of blend it upwards. And again, like when you do the dark to light method, it's gonna look really chunky. So don't really worry about it. You just wanna get the color placed where you want it to be. And I'm just gonna go in with the second layer. That blue though has a really nice formula. I swear ColourPop has one of the best blue eyeshadow formulas I've ever used. But again, like if things are looking a little chunky at the second, you are doing it right. So now I'm just going to go in with this mid-tone blue in the palette called Watermark and I'm just going to be taking it on this brush from Moda. And what I'm going to do is go right above Iconic. And this is kind of like one of those small little shader brushes and I'm just going to be taking it the long way and doing these little circular motions to blend it upwards. I'm just going to grab a little bit more on my brush. You see what I mean though? Like the blue is just so pretty. Normally I don't like this method because it looks just so chunky, but I feel like it's just going to give us so much more precision because I kind of want to do like the color kind of in this kind of like inner portion and then have like a snowflake accent in this outer. So now I'm just going to go in with this really pale blue shade called Take It Easel. I'm just going to be taking it on this teeny tiny little Morphe blending brush. It's very similar to an M507 and I'm just going to be kissing the edge of what we just did. I'm kind of doing these like little circular motions to blend it upwards towards my brow. And I'm going to kind of like take whatever is left on my brush and kind of like feather this outer edge of the blues too. Kind of like outwards just to kind of give it like a little bit more of like a gradient effect so it doesn't look so chunky on this edge. So far though I think this is turning out really cute. It's definitely not something I've done before but that's kind of the fun with makeup you know just trying something different. You know what, I am going to go in with a teeny tiny little bit more of Iconic because I feel like I lost the intensity of that darker blue. And I'm just taking it on that brush that we initially applied it with. So now I'm just going to go in and cut my crease and I'm just going to use my ABH eye primer again. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, like the tiniest amount. So I'm first going to go in with this liner brush. It is a Sigma E10. And I'm just going to cut my crease slightly above my natural crease, since I do have hooded eyes. And if you struggle doing your cut creases, what I recommend is looking straight into a mirror and just kind of going right above your natural crease and following that shape. Kind of like this. Kind of gives you a better guideline doing it this way. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this eye primer on this Anastasia number 18 brush, which is my favorite for cut creases. And I'm just going to kind of like fill in right underneath that line that we just made. You can also cut your crease with this brush if you want. 
I just felt like using a liner instead since my hands are like really shaky today. So once you cut that crease, I'm just going to go in with Take It Easel, that pastel baby blue that we used, and pack it all over where we cut that crease. And again, when you're doing this, you do want to make sure that you are really like pressing it in because you do not want to disturb that base underneath. But honestly, I think this is turning out really cool. At first, I was going to go in with the white eyeshadow out of the Stone Cold Fox palette because that is one of the best matte whites in my collection. It is so good. But at the same time, I just wanted to use one palette today just to make it a little bit easier in case you guys want to follow and you only have this one. And also, like this baby blue is applying a lot lighter than I was expecting. I was actually thinking it was going to be a little bit darker than this. That's kind of why I wanted to go in with the white because I wanted something like really bright to kind of like contrast with that deeper blue right here. Seriously, like that's actually a really cool color. It kind of reminds me of the baby blue in, um, I believe the palette is called In a Trance. If you hear whining, she's whining because I'm not giving her attention. I don't know why, but she's super whiny today. So this next step that we are going to be doing, I'm not too sure if it's going to look good or what's going to happen because I've never done this type of thing before, but I want to try it out anyways. But I'm just going to take that darker blue that we use in the palette called Iconic on this brush from Anastasia. It's an A1. It's kind of like a flat liner brush, but it's not angled. So essentially what I'm going to do is a winged liner with it. So I'm going to kind of just take it up fairly far. It's been a really long time since I've done wing liner with a brush. So if you struggle doing wing liner, what I recommend doing is taking your brush and fake following this lower lash line. Don't touch the skin yet. And then when you get to this outer portion, this outer corner, put your brush down and then follow the line of your waterline upwards. And this will create it right for you. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. And I know a lot of people like to explain, you know, you can go from the um, kind of like edge of your nose to the corner of your eye up to your brow like this. But I don't know. I don't like this shape on me. I find that it just makes my eyes look a little bit funny. So instead, I like to follow my waterline down in here. And then once you have this line made, I'm just going to start packing down a little bit more of that dark blue and bringing it in. You can also do this method though with a liquid liner. I'm just going to do it with shadow because I do kind of want to smoke it out. And then afterwards you just want to fill it in. So this is where you're going to hope and pray that you have a steady hand because now we're going to make the little snowflake right here in this outer portion of the eye. And to do that, I'm going to be using this NYX um, Epic Wear Liquid Liner in this shade white. This is literally the best white liner I have ever used. So if you've never done anything like this before, what I do is I just open up the product and then I wipe the sides of the brush off and this will make it extra sharp and pointy and also get rid of excess product. So what I'm going to do is go upwards and make a line, kind of like that. If it looks funny, don't worry about it. But I'm kind of making this line where the cut crease ends. I personally like to go upwards. I find that I get more smooth of a line this way. And then I'm going to go and do a line from about right here. Kind of something like that. And then I'm going to make my last line right in this area. So you're kind of going for this little star shape right here. And if it doesn't look perfect, don't worry about it because we just want the shape down right now. And then you just go in with a little bit more product on your brush and start getting the lines where you want them to be. So if, if you want them a little bit thicker, you know, you just kind of like thicken them up. And then once you have it where you want it to be, now you just make those little dashy lines. And I'm gonna do two per line. So something like that, just to make it more snowflake-like. So I just finished those little dashes all the way around and just kind of made it look a little bit more like a snowflake. And I also did it on the other eye as well. You can apply like glitter or rhinestones. And if you have any areas where you're just not really happy with, I would definitely recommend doing one or the other because glitter and rhinestones literally fixes everything. So off camera, I'm just going to apply some lashes as well as do my complexion products. And then afterwards, I'll be right back to finish up the look. 
Okay, this is definitely giving me all the winter vibes, but now we're gonna start working on the lower lash line. And on this little shader brush, I just mixed Watermark and Iconic to a one-to-one -one ratio. This is a little shader brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just taking it the long way and smoking these two right underneath, doing a back and forth motion. You know what, I'm actually just gonna go in with Iconic itself, cause it's just looking a little too light and really off balance. Go right on top. Oh yeah, that is looking way better. So for the inner corner highlight today, I mean, you could go in with one of the icy shades in the palette, you know, like that pink or the purple or even the blue glitter that might look really cool too. But honestly, I want like an icy white type of highlight and unfortunately this palette doesn't have one. So I'm actually going to be going in with this Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. It is called Ice Dream. It's kind of like an icy iridescent bluish purple shade. And also this Super Shock Shadow makes a really good highlighter. I actually have it on right now. I used it in the video where I reviewed the Fade Into Hue palette and I was so obsessed with it, I wanted to use it again today. But I'm just gonna be taking it on this Anastasia little pencil brush. I think it's an A14 if I remember right. No, this one's actually from Morphe, it's an M431. They look almost identical, but I'm just going to be popping this baby right in the inner corner and I'm like packing it on because I want it really bright because I think it's gonna pair really well. And then for the waterline, I'm just going to go in with this ColourPop Creme Gel Liner Pencil in the shade Big Splash. It's kind of like a baby blue. You could also use a white, but I just want like a little hint of blue here. I gotta say, after doing this makeup look though, it is really making me want to try out different designs and shapes, especially in this outer portion right here of the eye. I see people do it all the time over on Instagram, and I don't know why I haven't done it myself, because it always looks cool on them. But seriously, like, it's just such a cute little vibe, and it's also a great way to spice up an eye look. And if you want to spice it up even more, you can always add, you know, like, glitter or rhinestones or even some fun colors on top of the snowflake as well to give it, like, that neon pop. And again, if you're looking for a really fun rainbow palette that isn't like the rest on the market, definitely recommend checking out Fade Into Hue. Like this palette is one of those palettes I'm actually reaching for more than I thought I was going to. Like don't get me wrong, I love ColourPop, but I have a lot of rainbow palettes, so I didn't think I was going to reach for this one as much. But like I think it's because of how it's laid out and all the different things you can do with it. Because again, each of the columns in here is a different color, so if you're a beginner or if you struggle coming up with different eye looks, I think it's a really approachable color story. I just feel like a lot of larger palettes are very overwhelming, especially if you're a beginner, and I just feel like this one you can just do so much with. Because I mean, you look at it, you get these really nice pastels in here, you get mid-tones, and then these brighter, more deeper tones in the palette. You also get a lot of different finishes, you know, like mattes in here, you get shimmers, and also press glitters mixed in. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know if you like to see more winter looks or some holiday looks, and also let me know if you like to see more looks using the Fade Into Hue palette, because I really like this palette, and if you guys would like to see more looks using it, I'd be happy to film them for you guys. But as always though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like, and if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page or my TikTok, it is at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!